Okay, the magic of video, obviously we got this almost to a boil. You want to bring, you want to bring those uh, kefilan leaves in there. Bring that uh, lemongrass in there, just like, just, just put it in there, that's fine. So from here, when it starts to boil, this is actually going to be boiling in there. So we're not even going to, as, as, as you see, we're not going to put that uh, in there, uh, not going to cook it before or fry it before. We're just going to put that in there and make sure now, very, very important, just make sure you, th you stir this th through very thoroughly. So the, actually the, the chicken pieces are not going to get st stuck in there. So they have to be all separated. So while you actually put like a little bit of a stir in there, now we're going to actually start with the with the um, with the um, the fish sauce. So the fish sauce is going to be probably around one, two, three, four, five. Make that a little bit like six kind of thing. And then stir it through even more. So I'm then then just like just time magic. So I'm going to show you the next step in a second. Okay. So this is kind of like really combined now. So I made sure that all the chicken pieces are really like well separated kind of thing. So the lemongrass is in there. The um, the cafe lime leaves are in there. And now it's a really good trick with the with the, with the lemon. If you take that lemon and really give it a good squeeze here, like really press down, and now you're going to release literally most of that flavor. I do have one of those, so you probably don't need this. So I just like, get get that one in there. Get those two fresh lime juices in there. It's perfectly fine. As I said, if you don't have this and you roll it, so you get a lot more um, a lot more flavor out of this. So it's just like, I don't want to lose anything of this. I'm just gonna put at least. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna put at least two cans of that. So you're gonna release all that leftover coconut in there do it again so pretty much like equal equal portions of um, the uh, coconut cream and water so I'm not gonna waste anything just kind of stir that a little bit just get all the bottom on there and just put that in there almost all of it again give it a good stir and then start putting in the herbs so from here this is this is the coriander let's go straight in there so here we have the, the Thai basil, and as I mentioned, so I couldn't get any Thai basil this morning like fresh, but I actually froze something. So that's another really good piece. If you have any kind of herbs, doesn't matter what it is, if you put them loosely, in like you cut them before, put them loosely in a jar, and then let them freeze, they're perfectly fine. So now so we're just gonna put, I don't know, three handfuls of that coriander, the, the more the better, just like get about three handfuls in there, and just like, and then just start stirring this through. At this point in time, you can put already, you can put the beans in. You can put the stems of the, the broccoli in there because they cook longer. And then we're just gonna give that a little bit of a, a weight. So just like stir it all the way through and uh, give it another, probably about 10 minutes. So as I said, so once we bring all the thing in there, really, really combine it well, so you can actually stir it enough. Like obviously you don't want to, you don't have to do that vigorously now, but bring it to a boil. Once that's actually on a boil, reduce the heat. You only want to have it to simmer. Uh, reason behind it is that if you actually continue and it's going to be boiling vigorously, the uh, coconut cream can actually split, and that's the last thing you want. So just like really take your time. It's going to boil for, or like bring it to a boil reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay. So as you can see, so that this is like literally lightly simmering. So it's there, there, there's two reasons it's going to actually take a little bit longer to stir. So don't uh, shy away from this taking really a long time to cook. I know there's a lot of prepping in there anyway. So because of the, um, the cafe lime leaves and uh, the extra lemongrass in there and all the ingredients combined, they actually do need time to literally combine. So as you know from, from food or even like any kind of pasta sauces, so if you do them actually at night, so they're actually gonna taste better the next day if you heat them up. So what I mean by that is just like, really take your time here. So you can actually leave this alone for at least half an hour on a very low heat and let this just, let 
let the, the Thai curry do its trick. So all the things here, all the, the kefi lime leaves will actually just kind of release all the flavor in there and then it's going to be well combined. So let's, as I said, this is going to be 10, 15 minutes. We can put the broccoli in here now and again, just like cover them. And this is the last one, the bok choy we actually put in last. So we, but obviously the reason is if you put the bok choy in now and you let it simmer for another 30 minutes, that bok choy completely dissolves. So what the, the beauty of the bok choy is, if you put it in literally two minutes before serving, they will cook through and they're gonna be nice and crispy. All right, I'll get you guys to the last bit. Okay, so it's been about literally about almost 30 minutes. So you can see that's literally like hardly simmering. So as I mentioned before, you wanna actually get those, those bastards here. So the, the, the coffee lime leaves, and obviously the lemongrass and everything well combined. So I actually come back to this every about five minutes and give it a nice stir through. There's so many ingredients in there and they all wanna be coated. Everything wants to be combined, all the lemongrass, all uh, the coriander, the Thai basil, everything wants to be combined. So I know it's not your quick fix for a dinner, but uh, once you actually follow those kind of fairly simple steps, uh, then you end up with an absolutely amazing curry. So I'm going to ditch you. So this is the, the, the second last step. I'm going to leave it with you and uh, just I'll come back probably in about another probably another 15, 20 minutes. So as I said, don't overboil it. Keep it, keep it simple. Uh, don't boil it too much. Keep it on a simmer, half heat and watch it. So from here, we started at four. It went all the way to one. Now we're going to turn it again to four. It's been roughly about an hour. So we're going to turn it around to four and probably another wait another 20 minutes while this baby here is just simmering away. Slight simmer. Don't let it overboil. Again, so the rice is going to take about an hour and a half. Anyway, the last bit, uh, if we're going to put the bok choy in, I'm going to show you that in a second. So, Okay, this, uh, this thing is now simmering for at least 45 minutes. I know it's not the quickest meal. Anyway, so the last bit is just like, put the, put the bok choy in there, so steer it well. Not well, I mean, just like, just kind of get it, get it down there, get it in there, leave it there, put it all in there, nice and combined. And turn off turn off the heat obviously this is like this is now boiling so you don't want to don't want to eat it now obviously so just leave it leave it like that so now it's all well and combined the beautiful rice is almost ready I'm going to show you that star in a second anyway so this is perfect if you go give it give it a try if it's too hot again a bit of sugar Stir it through, as I said, mentioned again, brown sugar or palm sugar would be the best. Any kind of sugar will do. You can actually reduce the heat. So it's not gonna be, if you, if you have people who don't like heat, you can actually bring it down or in the beginning, put a little bit less of that paste in there. Anyway, without further ado, this is gonna be ready. It's gonna be in there for about almost an hour and a half. From here, this is gonna be very, very quickly. Just put it down there, get it, get the thing down here. Flip it on the top and now you're going to see what I mean with the Persian rice cooker. This is the best thing that actually since sliced bread is going to produce this absolute beautiful rice cake. The longer you actually put it in there, uh, the browner it gets. But as you can see, this is really, really crispy here. And then you just kind of wait a bit, about 10 minutes or 15 minutes till as you slow it down. Cut it and just going to serve it with that. Anyway, from here love to actually do that not only again i have a couple of other dishes that i love to cook over the years and uh, if uh, there's anything that you would like to know just shoot, shoot me a message but this is now the absolute perfect thai curry thank you very much i know it's going to take a long time but in those uh, times we have now we have a lot of time so just don't shy away of cooking a little bit more difficult stuff but just enjoy your cooking and i'll see you next time in camper's kitchen